I'm Ty Keltner. I'm from Juneau, Alaska, and um, I love building Lego stuff. <laughs> awesome, awesome. And so uh, we have a wonderful mosaic that was built by you. Uh, what exactly are we looking at here? Well, this is uh, Dr. Wily's castle from the video game Mega Man 2 from 1988. And it's uh, a screenshot of one of the images of the game. It is 60 inches by 80 inches, so it's quite large, and it's also quite heavy. <laughs> very nice, very nice. And one of the things I really, really like about it is I can kind of see that you've integrated some really nice, I believe those are like 8 by 16 black tiles, and I, I'm sure you can kind of make that out on the video here, but uh, it, it sort of adds a really nice texture technique. So talk about uh, sort of doing something like that like, well, as far as like a technical standpoint. What, what's going on? Yeah, so the original image from the screen that people would look at if they were playing the game that's just blue and black and that's about it but I didn't want to just fill that void with all black bricks I wanted to add just a little bit of artistic differentiation to it so I made a tiled pattern across the entire back with uh, minifigure bases and large tiles and some other things and then the eyes of the skeleton there the eyes of the skull those are also uh, one by one round plates and so those are also kind of a 3d effect that i added as well so it makes it pop a little bit certainly certainly and i really love the uh, the coloration so was this a, something that you kind of created uh, by i don't know drawing out like uh, with a grid paper like what did the planning process look like yes everybody asks me similar questions like of oh course. you did a great job with the grid and yeah, i said yeah, yeah. honestly i didn't grid it out all i did was print out a really big picture of uh, the image and then i made each pixel into one stud so it's a, a perfect scale representation of it and it's almost uh, video games are kind of pixelated themselves so mm -hmm. this is like a natural translation right yeah it definitely is i mean it's as far as i can tell 100 percent accurate there's even some different uh mistake pixels that the uh, game makers have done with the image and i i left those in there too i didn't do any color correction uh for them and you know like all mosaics this is really cool, but it looks even better from a distance. And so I I just kind of think it's a, a big, big piece. It's a big, big, beautiful mosaic. And it is such a big mosaic. And you mentioned you're from Alaska. And we always like to kind of hear, uh, how did you get it here? Uh, was it, does it kind of break down in certain ways? Did you strap it to the roof of your car? <laughs> well, being that I'm from Juneau, I have to fly here every year when I come to the LEGO convention. So uh, I'm at kind of the the mercy of the airline and so i have to make sure i can fit everything into my baggage this mosaic breaks up into squares that are large base plates so 15 by 15 inch squares and it's very very heavy too and uh, ma meeting my weight limit was certainly a challenge but um, i i did what i could and luckily i was able to get it here it is sitting on against the wall it's leaning on the back of a big board i had somebody get for me really? thankfully okay and um, it worked out, so I'm, I'm glad it did. Very interesting. When flying with big mocks, you kind of always have to make some interesting affordances and make a, a couple little sneaky deals here or there, so very, very cool. Yeah, definitely, and I'm thankful that I was able to get a hand in getting a piece of plywood to lay it against, and I'm also thankful that it wasn't destroyed too badly by the uh, airline. So The baggage handlers, the TSA, all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah certainly. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing uh, the mosaic with us. A uh, beautiful, beautiful build. Yeah. Uh, can I add one more thing, too? Sure. Yeah. Um, I don't really consider myself a, a great builder, and I'm certainly not a, a great artist by any means, I think. There's a lot of folks here that are, are far better than I am, but I always try and challenge myself every year. Sure. And, I've uh, done a couple mosaics before, but nothing of this size, certainly. Oh. And uh, so I wanted to do something really challenging, you definitely, know, and especially definitely. getting it here was a challenge in itself. But I, I built this giant mosaic, and I, I think it's pretty cool that way. And sure. honestly, if I, I would say that if any builder out there wants to challenge themselves, try building something out of Bionicle, because that is totally different. But um, just kind of do what I do and always try and find something new and different that you haven't done before. Totally. Whether it's a different theme or something different every time. So step challenge. outside of your comfort zone, right? Absolutely. And that's how you can grow and develop as a builder, but also as a person, to be this honest. This is true. This is true. This is something that everyone should be doing in all of their lives, sort of challenging and evolving continuously. That's right. Definitely. Well, a wonderful build and a wonderful story. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Thank you.